What's happening, y'all? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes. And we're going to do something rare. We're going to talk two-handed bowling. I know. All you thumbers, all the traditional bowlers are going to be a little upset. They're like, what are you doing? Like, you should be using your thumb. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but we're going to talk about two-handed bowling. we got some techniques that two-handers like to do with their release, at least beginning two-handers. So we want to talk about the release for two-handers. Uh, and I'm going to do all that here in a minute, so stay tuned. And what we're going to be doing to demonstrate release and stuff is we're going to be using uh, the new release trainer that we have. This is the one. I'm going to show you a few designs just so you guys can decide which one you want. But this is the dragon design with the scales, and it's got the wings. Now all of them have the wings because it is to prevent the ball from rolling off. But this is your release trainer. You have a metallic one that is like a, uh, a silver metal looking one. We have the glow in the dark. Now, they all these skins do come like this, and you can get them with or without the bearings. Without the bearings, obviously, is a lot cheaper. So if you've already bought, in, like, let's say, the original black one that, ever, that we came out with, that we sell out with so fast that now we have 100 of these more. Actually, we're down to, like, 80 already. There's 80 of these more left on the website. But this, if you already have this one with the bearings, these bearings pop right out. And they come right out so that way you can put them into other skins so if you like the glow in the dark one you can get that one if you like the special edition color shifting looking one that's like that we can go with that one uh, if you like the skull with the demon skull with the uh, the burnt titanium look that's the way to go too so anyway that's what we're going to be using so let's take the original release trainer and we'll go talk about two-handed bowling Oh yeah, and uh, you can go over to 10 Everything's available over there, so link's in the description. All right, y'all, so I know you can't see my pretty face, but that's okay. But we're going to talk about the release with two-handed bowlers. Um, a lot of the tendency that bowlers have with two-handed is because they're trying to gain speed, their hand and their arm gets ahead of where the ball actually is. So a lot of the times they get here, they collapse to the top, and then they roll off the side this way, so it's more spinning sideways kind of on a top so it really gets that so you see a lot of people a lot of the two-handers track like right here right next to the fingers um, because they get that flick they flick it around they twist their hand around and we don't have to do that what i'd rather see and the benefit of being two-handed is the fact that you can get your hand way inside here and you've got your hand on it still, so you can get your hand way inside and be able to create tilts that a lot of bowlers can't create, especially one-handers. So then you can get through, and you can roll that ball straight through the back and around it there, all the way through. Yeah, And yes, this release trainer is good for two-handers too because you get the opportunity. And honestly, you could even do it this way. If you've got a nice smooth floor, this will slide on the floor, and you can release it that way and you can try to keep it on the release trainer of course but you can get it to come through and just work on that release it's the fact of fingers below the equator and the and two handers man you guys have it really made because um you can get your hand and keep your hand below the equator for a lot longer and a lot easier because you have the second hand to keep everything under control but i just don't want to see the hand get too off the side almost like you're flicking it back this way i don't want to see that i want to see everything come through this way and forward okay so i keep pulling it off going forward here and letting it roll through and you can even work on rev rate as a two-hander this way too you know just constantly working working the release working the fingers trying to figure out more forward try to get more around it but behind it just really focus on the hand staying below the equator and rotating through the ball not on top and then through the top side this way all right i hope that made sense for everybody it's just that thought of when you're coming through don't don't get it's the same thing one handers two handers it's the same thing don't chicken wing it out don't get that thing going and flailing around the outside keep everything up underneath and roll through the back side there everything inside it's all the same thing the technique is essentially the same except two handers kind of have it made because you don't have to worry about releasing with your thumb you don't have to worry about trying to clear the thumb to create rev rate and create the rotation you want to create your thumb's already out of it so you might as well keep your hand 
in a proper spot. Stop trying to spin around it. Don't get your hand through the top. If you want to get one of these release trainers, head over to tempendoctors.com. I'll only have a limited amount available right now, and then I will put more available as I make them. So I appreciate y'all. Until next time, I'm out of here. See you guys later.